All right, so this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 13th to uh, April 19th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And as well, if you want to learn tarot, card, tarot cards and you like the way I do it, you can sign up for my online classes where I'm going to uh, describe you or teach you how to connect the cards with the career, relationship, negative aspect, positive aspect as well. And they are they all are a live classes. So that being set aside, you can sign up, by the way, from my website as well under the section A uh, Tarot Classes. So that being set aside, moving to the uh, spread straight away now, the first one here, which is uh, the very topic of your week, is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is going to be the Six of Pentacles. Followed next, it is uh, the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Tree of Wands. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week here. That is to be the five of ones, followed by uh, the impression that uh, you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the queen of cups. And the final one that stands as the guidance that Tara is offering, we do have the king of uh, the king of ones. So those, uh, those six cards. Okay. All right. So let's leave the rest aside and let's focus for now for the energies and the topic itself. So what we have here, it's some sort of a, uh, a natural course that you are going under. That is described by the energies of the Six of Pentacles. Now, it's a very peculiar uh, alignment in between these two cards. So what they point, it is that it's not like you're not going to receive any help throughout the week it's not like you're not going to receive any support throughout the week but at the end of the day all support in the world or all the help in the world will not be able to resolve your personal struggles your personal plights or in generally your personal things that you are trying to develop either career-wise or a either relationship-wise that is coming from the energies themselves that uh, they are just putting you at the threshold that from there you have to move on alone now if you watch the lord of the rings you know and uh the very first chapter of it is the fellowship where everybody is trying to get the ring and, uh, and being destroyed to sauron and, and finally frodo understands that they can't do it all together it has to be he and he only and so he kind of like departures or severs with the fellowship and tries to carry on his own burden if you will so such kind of a thing we do have here but not to that kind of an extreme um extreme measures or extreme manifestation so what we have it is that you will have to truly tackle with uh, your own problems in terms of career and in terms of relationship but uh you can use the uh the support from others in terms of emotional support and as well a intellectual help and support meaning guidance advice um profound conversations over how how one thing needs to be done which also is considered of a some sort of a cooperation however you have to be ready to face some sort of a criticism that is going to be addressed towards you and you should not take that criticism as a uh, something that it is meant to bring you down spiritually i mean uh, and to muffle your enthusiasm but instead that criticism is addressed to you so it can make you really think over the uh, over the subject that the criticism is addressing and uh, another thing that i want to say here with the uh, those uh, couple of cards it is that the six of pentacles it's about the hierarchy um, if you observe the card, I'm just going to um, kind of like slow down here for a bit, uh, is that we do have a rich man who kind of like gives a, a coins or a change to the beggar. 
Now, that may kind of like resolve the problems to the beggar today, you know, buying food, probably finding a place to sleep and so on and so forth. But tomorrow, the rich man, it will be a rich man and the beggar is going to be a beggar again. And it will be without money once again. So it's the, the, the help that you can get, the physical manifestation of help that you can get. It's not going to resolve anything. The most that is going to do is to postpone you know the uh the inevitable but you can definitely get yourself together or pick up yourself together and uh make an, an improvement here with the tree of pentacles as the tree of pentacles as the situation points to as a uh, uh, an oceans of a opportunities that you can improve your circumstances and uh even i can describe you another Another example of those couple of cards is that if you're on a rough page with uh, with your partner into your marriage or into your relationship, you may be counting on that their family is going to breathe sense into them or your family. That's not going to happen. You and you alone have to talk it over with, uh, with your partner so you can sort the things out and probably get on the same page. That kind of a... Uh, uh, how can I say it? Personal incorporation, I mean, in career and as well in relationship. So um, that being set aside, what is going to be really the challenge here then, since you have to overcome it on your own? Well, we do have the Tree of Wands and Tree of Wands on its own accord points that um, the circumstances are going to be just right. Okay, and the patterns that you have to follow are going to be the true patterns. The problem is that those patterns predispose that you need to go outside of your comfort zone because the uh, improvements or rather like the growth with the tree of wands is always through one challenging themselves to do something or to place themselves somewhere where they're not feeling comfortable with or where they have doubts that they will be able to endure or to make it happen. So it's like lifting your own um, limits. Okay, that is to be the challenge for you. So take on the difficult project. Uh, talk with your partner about things that you have been afraid up until now to talk about. All right. Or uh, how can I say it? Um, take a participation into an enterprise that you strain from it up until this moment because you know you found you kind of like were finding it scary and you had doubts that you are going to fail in it this is how the tree of wands manifests itself and this is how the tree the, the improvement through the tree of wands happens but you challenging yourself to overcome not your fears but your insecurity that you will not be able to pull it through and as we said pulling it through that is to be the uh, gifts and the blessings here for you, Taurus, for throughout the week. That is to be the gift and blessing of the five of wands, my personal best when it comes to gifts and blessings. It means that uh, the, five of one, the five of wands in terms of gifts and blessings is when you do have the, not exactly the chance, but the, well, I don't know how to say it in English. Maybe I have to use the word chance here. When you do have the chance to make use of a uh, turnaround into your situations, meaning surprising events that takes place, which are allowing you to save the day, which are allowing you to reverse the crisis, okay? which are allowing you to, uh, to burst through, if you will. Five of Wands is a gift and blessing. It points that the outcome from whatever endeavor right now, even if you think that it is going down to shade and it's, help and it's hopeless, it's anybody's guess at that point and you can definitely do something about it to stabilize it you can definitely do something about it to improve it and to make it successful so uh as a gifts and blessings this is why i love the uh five of wands is because it tells you that the game is not over yet and you can end up victorious at the end of the day however as we saw with the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles especially as the energies it is that you can't count that this is going to be done for you Okay, you have to do it yourself. So you struggle for a job, to find a job. The job is not going to come from a connection. It will come because you have skills and you are displaying your skills. Okay, but you have to push yourself a bit of, a, a little bit further. You have to aim for a job that makes you feel insecure, uh, that you will be able to manage it. 
with the tree uh, with the tree of wands. Uh, and same thing comes in terms of relationships. You have to be a little bit more um, agile when it comes to uh, when it comes to that, and uh, allow things to just happen. As we said with the six of pentacles, it's by the natural flow and the natural cause, the hierarchy. So that that is to be in place for you, Taurus, throughout this week. Do not fight it, guys, because when someone fights against the current, the current it's kind of like smashes them down but with the five of wands once again as a gift and blessings you do have the chance to reverse your situation uh from a really really bad one not the chance but the gift to reverse your situation from re really really bad one into very very pleasant and successful one uh, i'm not saying about all of them but in some of them definitely you do have that potency Moving next it is the impression of the people around towards you. That is to be the impression of the Queen of Cups. So a uh, couple of impressions really. It does depend how it's going to manifest in terms of career or in terms of relationship. Now in terms of career, your co-workers are going to see you as a very humble person, as a, someone who is just doing their job, okay? And is trying to float above the... Uh, um, it's trying to float above the level of the water. I don't know how to say it in English, that expression. Okay. So it's trying to keep themselves in pace with what the work it's, um, it's providing at that point. And as we saw with the previous cards, you know, you're trying to do it by yourself. You're not complaining here. And whenever you do have a struggle with some sort of a project or with some sort of a thing there into the job, you are not trying to make yourself a victim of it, but instead you are putting yourself together and trying to overcome it. And only if it becomes so unbearable, then you are going to ask for a certain guidance and not for help, which on its own accord is going to make you as a, to look as a, a very, very reliable person. Now, in terms of love, how your suitor is going to see you, you know, and how your uh, partner right now is going to see you. It's as a, a very, very caring person, someone who truly understands them and uh, understands them in a way that it, it kind of like respects them. OK, they may not understand your points of view, but it's going to respect it. Or it's kind of like they may see that you are not understanding their points of view, but you are accepting it. You are respecting it. And therefore, that makes you very trustworthy or it's going to make you very trustworthy in their eyes. And um, you can expect that a lot of they are quite intimate, impersonal stuff to be shared with you, especially if the relationship is yet to on a uh, only sweeter type of a uh, levels. And uh, the final one for you, Taurus, it refers to the guidance that Taurus is offering. So we do have the King of Wands here and it's all about your ambition, guys. So you have to allow your ambition to unfold. Do not try to muffle it. And that ambition, it is your own personal ambition and it has to unfold through you and not through someone else. And that's why we do have here with the previous cards, it is that while you're going to have support through your development, through a um, guidance and advice, Physical support should be excluded out of the equation because at the end of the day, your achievements should be your own achievements and not the cumulative achievements of a you and someone else or you and society of people. That is one of the guidance here because the card points that whenever ambition you do have, either because you do want to be better at your job or either because you do want to start living on your own or because you want to be with someone and etc etc you can definitely put it into action here it's only that you may lack it is the how can i say it the mm, it's not even the awareness but maybe the confidence it's like the initial drive you may like the confidence that you can do it at the end of the day because the king of uh, wants points that once you focus on your ambition that ambition will become as a, a very strong and powerful drive and the other thing about the card here which is kind of broad as a guidance is that you should try to enjoy life as much as you can have fun do things you like you know and if you can socialize with people just do it although these days not everybody can do so i think i mean the majority of us 
are stuck at home. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you uh, want to learn how to read tarot, I'm offering online classes, live classes, that is, um, in which I'm going to um, explain you about the cards, um, how to connect them with the romantic matters, with career matters, or in other words, how to interpret them in terms of career, in terms of romance and relationship in a negative way, in a positive way, depending how they fall into a, a dedicated spread and also in every position into the dedicated spread itself. So that being said, hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, until next time. Bye.